Hello, welcome back to my Cobra 2000 GTL restoration project. This section is going to deal with replacing the electrolytic capacitors. They age over time and after 30 years they've aged and they need to be replaced. So let's go take a look closer. Okay, we'll start off looking at the main board. I don't have a zoom on this unit here, so I'll just point out some of the big ones. Uh, there's 44 in total. I could be off one or two. I got the main list, but I'm close. Uh, here is a big one. Oh, I gotta get the camera over there. Did I get that? Okay, there is a big one. There's another one there, another larger one there. A whole raft of little ones here. There's another one. There's another bigger one. All these are going to be replaced. Let's go over to the clock and frequency counter board, which I described incorrectly in the very first section as PLL. I told you I was going to make verbal uh, typos. Okay, uh, we've got Electrolytic there, another little one there, another one there, another one here, another one there, and we've got a bigger one there. These are all uh, radial, as they're described. They got uh, two leads coming out the bottom, so uh, that's the kind we're going to get. I'm going to flip this unit over and we'll take a look at the biggest one on the back, bottom side. Alright, the unit's flipped over and we can see in the bottom right hand corner here, this is our largest one. This is the one coming right off the uh, transformer, so that's our biggest one. That's a 4700 microfarad 35 volt. And I've got, if I look over here to my pile of stuff, I got the particular one here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put him down and uh, I'm going to get my gear and pieces that I need. You can see I got the two leads on there and we got a positive there and we got negative there. So just two leads. Uh, we can see this is fairly uh, wide tabs on there for uh, running a thousand amps or something. That's how big they are. Uh, you can see on my replacement unit here, you know, uh, I've got uh, smaller leads, but they are rather thick. And uh, we're not running a lot of amperage to them. So we can see on all electrolytics, they are marked positive and negative leads. So we can see here, this is the negative is a shorter lead and the positive is the longer lead. And the uh, place where I bought my parts from here locally in town. I didn't do a whole bunch of shopping for this particular unit. I just went out once. And they didn't have a 36 volt one that's, uh, or 35, that's in the unit now. And that's, uh, what is it, it's C141. So I've got a 50 volt unit. As long as you go higher with the voltage, you don't want to go too much higher, but you're okay. You don't want to go lower. But higher is okay slightly. Uh, I don't think that's catastrophic. So we're going to put this unit in. So I have my soldering gun here. Tip is all heated up with my homemade stand that I made in post-secondary school. I was an electronics engineer. I guess those are some of my credentials, but that's not my, my job I'm doing full-time. Something else. But I started off in electronics. Okay, so let me get the gun and I'm going to start heating up those leads. Alright, I've got a different view for you, a top-down view, so I can use both my hands and do stuff properly. Clean my tip off on my soldering gun and let's get the desoldering. Alright, let's speed things up here a little bit. Let's take these leads off. Take off the 
positive heat. Heat things up. Here's my uh, solder desucker. I'm having a little difficulty getting this red off. It's you know it's wrapped in there pretty good. All right, leads are off. Let's take this bracket off and see how the new capacitor fits in. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna have to modify that clamp slightly. <laughs> A perfect example of uh, you know you plan for things, but something is a mess. I had a feeling that might happen, but it's one thing just trying to find a capacitor, and then trying to get one that's physically the same size. Okay, so I'm going to have to uh, do a little modification on this uh, bracket here. I'm not going to show you all that, but I'm just going to pause now, and when you come back, I'll be hooking her up. All right, welcome back. You can see I've got the bracket. I just uh, stuck it in the vise a little bit and uh, cinched it up. And we can see that's nice and tight now. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but this is the negative lead, positive, and has the different lengths on them. I just got some garbage here. I'm going to vacuum up. <laughs> So much for my vacuum. So you know what? This capacitor I got is a radial leads, and the original one had tabs on it. And of course, tabs are nice because then you've got a hole you can stick your wire through. That's the best way. I didn't think of that when I bought it. So that's my uh, first slight glitch. Uh, leads are leads. That's fine. I'm going to make do. If not, I'd buy another one. But um, I'm going to make this one work. But when you buy yours. Probably be easiest to get the ones with tabs. I don't know. They might be more money. Okay. Let's speed things up here again and start doing the soldering. Snip the leads off. And make sure we hook up the right color to the right lead. Because these are the radial leads, um, and I don't have tabs on them, I have to just put a little uh, hooks in them so I can hook up the wire to it. So they hook up. Because I don't have three hands. So that's what I'm doing here, just putting a little hook in the lead. That way I can just put the wire on there and I don't have to hold on to it. And then the soldering is going to be a lot easier. As you can also see, I put on a heat sink on the lead there just to protect the device. That's something that's normally just reserved for transistors. But I had them laying around if they were just throw them on the capacitor as well, too. Okay, so I've got the red lead hooked up here. And uh, let's heat it up. Red lead's hooked up. Now let's just apply some solder. That's slipping a little bit. Now the finger's getting warm. A little more solder, and that should do her. All right, well, I'm okay with that. It's going to function. That's the old one. There's a minus over here, and I hooked up to black. Okay, it's just double, triple checking. We want to plug this in and have it blow up in me, any, make it any worse than it is. Still nice and solid. Let's uh, tighten the screw a little here. Okay, that was the easy one. Now, all the other ones on the main board on the other side. Got to desolder from here. Got to locate them. Desolder on here, and. Uh, Plug them in. Because of all the difficulties I encountered in getting all the capacitors needed, I decided to put together a kit that includes all the electrolytic capacitors that you need. If you visit eBay and search Cobra 2000 GTL and electrolytic capacitors, you can order the kit from me for $24.95 plus shipping.